Why am I here? Why do I keep doing this? Find out today on Training Day. everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of Training Day. Today I'm going to go back to the beginning and discuss why it is that I'm doing this. Didn't you already do that in your first video? Well, yeah, I did, but it kind of sucked and I, I didn't really explain it very well. <laughs> you got that right. Hey, aren't you me? I mean, you're insulting yourself. And you're arguing with yourself in a video, using cheap jump cuts. Kind of explains a lot, doesn't it folks? Enough arguing with myself. So why do I do this? Well, it's actually two reasons. The first of which is I love learning. I can spend literally thousands of hours on my computer, on any of a thousand wikis, satisfying my need for new ideas and activities. Isn't that what she said? Shut up, me! As I was saying, I love learning new things. But as I got older, I noticed that all these things that I love meant literally nothing to anybody that was around me. I was learning tons of new things, but that's where it ended. I couldn't do anything with these new ideas because I was sequestered away from anyone that shared my passions. So even intellectually, you can't get a date. Really not helping here. In my professional life, I had become a trainer. I was the person that got the new hires and taught them how to do their jobs. I taught people new services, everything like that. And I was one of the best. The people that listened to me and actually did what I told them to did amazing. And quite a few of them actually got promoted. So you could get other people promoted, but you couldn't. Same team. I then realized that this training thing didn't have to be just for work. I could train my friends just like I trained the people at work, except in the things that I enjoy. I decided at this point to start introducing my friends to some of my more geeky hobbies and train them to enjoy them the way that I enjoy them. Surprisingly enough, I found that now quite a few of my friends enjoyed the same things that I did. I now had a group of friends that I could play board games with, crawl through dungeons, even watch anime and yet you're still single. No more from you, sarcastic me from the other side of the screen. I soon realized that converting people to new fandoms is a huge part of geek culture. We all want our friends to love our passions as much as we do, but it's really easy to get overexcited and turn them off to it. So you have problems with getting overexcited. It happened once and it had been a really long time, okay? So after I noticed that no one was really talking about how to train people on YouTube, I realized it was my time to shine. The second reason is a little more simple. I hope so. The first reason took half the freaking video. Just not going to respond anymore. Nope. The second reason is I love training people. It has been the best part of every job I have ever had. And I'm constantly looking for new ways to train more people. I run beginner tables of D&D so I can train new players. I buy new board games just because I want to teach them to my friends. I even buy books and read websites that are dedicated to training people and I love every single second of it. I even created this really weird YouTube show where I insult myself and make mildly inappropriate comments about my relationship status. I got nothing there. Points! What I'm saying is that this topic is really important to me and really important to the geek community as a whole. This is how we grow our community. This is how we improve other people's lives by sharing our passions. Thus far, it's, it's not the most popular thing I create, but it is the thing that I'm the most passionate about. I'm doing everything I can to make this as interesting and entertaining as possible because I want other people to get excited about this. This is my passion. It's, it's what I do. Well, you do it very well. Thank you, other me. You're very welcome. You know, this is a lot better when we're not fighting. 
I could even see myself going as far as to call you a gentleman and a scholar. You know, I was thinking the same thing about you and how handsome you are. Oh, you don't have to say that. I mean, you're, uh, you're quite the looker yourself. Is this getting creepy? Yes, yes it is. Well, that's all for me today. Be sure to like this video if you agree with me or if you just want to see me insult myself again. And please share it with all of your friends. Also, please subscribe to the All for Geek Alliance. Uh, we all work really, really hard to do this and it just shows us that you guys appreciate what it is that we're doing. Also, stay tuned to the page because we have two brand new shows that will be starting very, very soon and a third one that may be transferring over from another channel. So that's really, really awesome. Check out our Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash All for Geek Alliance. We've got all of our announcements. Anything new happening is going to be announced there first. So please like our Facebook page. Again, that is all for me this week, and I will see you at the next training session. Bye-bye.